Hello, beautiful people! <laughs> my name is Victoria Vyok and this is my channel. Today I'm going to talk about what Erasmus Mundus is, what is this uh, extremely interesting opportunity where you can go and study in four different countries, four different universities, spend two amazing years with international group of people and everything on an amazing scholarship that provides you basically everything. So if you're interested in how to apply for the program like this, how to find it and how to get the scholarship, please stay with me in this video and I will guide you step by step through all of the procedures and all of the steps that are necessary for you to uh, perhaps start your Erasmus Mundus journey. So um, maybe to explain a little bit why do I uh, start this channel uh, is because when I was applying uh, for the program I was looking for different resources online uh, to actually see how Erasmus Mundus looks like from the perspective of the participant, from an experience of the scholarship holder. And the resources on the internet are very, very limited. So I kind of made this promise to myself that if I get the scholarship, if I will be the, the chosen one, then I will definitely start recording everything and I will post it and promote it for those who might be interested in how it actually looks like. I'm starting quite late because I'm already in my second semester uh, but well better later than never so if you are interested how the journey is going to develop what we are going to do and uh, I'll definitely catch up on what happened before as well then definitely stay with me here okay so let's start with the short and brief description, introduction of my program, what it is, what do I actually study, what is the main point of my course and the most important, what are the countries that I'm going to visit. Well, so, and the full name of my program is European Social Work with Children and Youth as a shortcut is Woche. Mm -hmm. um, the program uh, is about training professionals to work with children and youth who are suffering from different uh, difficulties, obstacles, who are facing economical challenges in the families. And our goal as professional and skilled social workers will be to help those uh, most vulnerable ones in the society. And the four countries that I'm going to visit, and I visited actually already, are Lithuania, uh, we lived in the capital Vilnius uh, for almost six months, Latvia, Riga, this is where I am currently, uh, then in September of 2023 we are moving to Slovakia, to the very small town called Ružomberg, uh, well, there is actually a very interesting story related to this small town, but I will leave it for another time. And the fourth place, the, the cherry on the top, how I'm calling it, it's going to be Lisbon in Portugal. So this is where we are going to spend our last semester. So yes, everyone is very excited about going there. Uh, however, from my personal uh, point of view, I think that exploring um, Baltic states is also quite amazing. Um, from what I believe in, or at least myself, I would never really come here to live in any of the capital cities, neither in Vilnius, neither in Riga, um, because this is not really the place where um, you would like to migrate, right? So, um, having this opportunity and being able to live here and get to know the culture, get to know the people, um, get to know the, the weather conditions, the, everything, the small towns, the, the food, um, this is an amazing opportunity and so far I am enjoying it greatly. <laughs> 
Okay, so now a little bit of the structure of the whole program. I will remind once again that the name of the, of the program is European Social Work with Children and the Youth. The whole program is uh, divided into four semesters. In total, these are two years. Uh, each semester consists of 30 ECTS, which in total gives us 120 of them. And now, the whole degree is divided into three big panels, which are the theory, the scientific research practice, and the research. And uh, all three of them are kind of uh, implemented. Uh, the very important uh, thing in our program is our master thesis that we are actually going to write in the fourth uh, semester in Lisbon. However, the emphasis on it is already put quite greatly. Uh, so basically all of us, we already have our master thesis topics. Uh, we have meetings with our supervisors and we are um, advised and trained on how to actually start preparing it. So I think that we can all rest assured that it will work well, that it will be fine, that we will be prepared well, uh, since we still have quite a lot of time. Moreover, in our third semester, we are obliged to undertake an internship in one of the social work organizations. It can happen in Europe, it can happen outside, wherever we actually want. And now the, the most exciting and the most wonderful thing about the structure of the program is the fact that there is 15 of us. 15 of students who are here studying together and traveling together. It's so impressive that within such a short time, which is basically only one semester so far, we got so close to each other and we created this small family of basically 15 different nations uh, that are living right now in all of these European countries and having all of these adventures together, uh, which is just so um, incredible. I would never think that um, I would be a part of such an amazing community. So yes, uh, very briefly I will name some of the countries where my colleagues are coming from. And these are Philippines, Nigeria, Kazakhstan, Nepal, Ghana, Uganda, Cameroon, uh, there is Spain, there is Germany, there is Latvia, there is me coming uh, from Poland and uh, I think that we all create such an amazing group. Okay, and another super important aspect of the whole program is the scholarship. The scholarship provided by the Erasmus Mundus covers basically all of your expenses everything. The scholarship covers your tuition fees, it covers your travels, you receive a monthly stipend that allows you to actually support yourself quite freely and then on the top of that you get the allowance for moving from a place to place. So additional money that are going to support you uh, during the moving in period. So it's actually quite amazing. <laughs> I know I'm using this word again and quite a lot, but it is. So what uh, I want to say is that when you are applying for the Erasmus Mundus Masters, for the Erasmus Mundus scholarship. At the beginning, at least for me, it felt quite impossible. It felt like I was reaching somewhere that was maybe a little bit too high for me. But then, well, as you can see, I am here recording for this program, uh, so I made it. And if I made it, then I'm pretty sure that you can as well. Uh, but uh, getting back to uh, the scholarship topic and to the money, so yes, you are going to receive this amount. I know, however, that for the new intakes, new uh, 
cohort for the Erasmus Mundus master's degree, the rules changed uh, a bit. I think that the amount of the scholarship is still the same, however, probably the travel allowance uh, got replaced with the bigger monthly stipend. Uh, don't take my word on it, I'm not entirely sure. Um, however, I know that it has been uh, changed a little bit. Uh, definitely not for the uh, disadvantage of the scholarship holder, so no worries. Uh, another thing that I wanted to add here is that obviously the way that you're going to manage your scholarship really depends and the country where you live also plays a big role because in not all of the countries you'll be able to actually uh, enjoy a super amazing life with this amount so that is important to keep in mind the amount of the scholarship that uh, until my year of intake of the scholarships holders uh, were receiving is 1000 euro per month uh, which is not a secret at all and this amount is uh, about to be enough it has to be enough for all of us to support yourself to pay for your uh, own accommodation to pay for your uh, food to pay for all of the expenses that you might have during this month and then on the same day of the next month the same amount of money comes into your account and that happens for the whole duration of the program which is 24 months so yes during the summer you're also receiving your scholarship and now uh, I think that will be the last point for today is why did I actually choose to study social work uh, as my master's degree and how did I actually hear about the Erasmus Mundus opportunity? Well, so maybe uh, let's start from the second question uh, because it makes uh, more sense in my story. Firstly, I've heard about Erasmus Mundus uh, two years ago in uh, 2020 during the summer when I was participating in different Erasmus uh, program in Croatia and that idea sticked in my head uh, since then. It was something that, yeah, I, I decided to do. Then of course, um, COVID cancelled one intake, so I couldn't apply. Then there was a lot of doubt, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I motivated myself, I applied and here I am doing an Erasmus Mundus. Uh, I will talk more about the whole procedure and uh, how to actually apply, what documents are necessary and all of the technicalities in the next episode. Uh, today I just wanted to very briefly explain uh, what am I doing, why I am here and more general, general aspects. And uh, yeah, answering the second question, why uh, did I actually choose to study social work is because um, that fits quite well into what uh, has been my experience throughout all of these years. I've been working quite a lot with children coming uh, from vulnerable backgrounds. Yes, I was working and actually volunteering in an orphanage in Peru. I participated in many Erasmus Solidarity Corps, which are different Erasmus programs that I might also talk about in this channel. Uh, working with kids, uh, presenting them different cultures, opening their minds, opening their eyes. So working with kids was uh, always something that I was, I was doing. I was an au pair twice, uh, once in Spain, once in uh, the USA, taking care of children and it, uh, it has always been a part of me. Therefore, I thought that uh, social work, to actually get a proper education on what I'm doing and be able to apply all of the skills to actually make a change, is something that I'm really interested in. Uh, so yes, so I think that will be everything for today. 
I really wanted to introduce myself, to introduce my program and to introduce the idea of the Erasmus Mundus. So if you are interested how the journey is going to look like and how it has been in the last semester, definitely stay in this channel. Um, today maybe it was more about my own experience and my own program, however I will talk more about the whole procedure and technicalities of applying for Erasmus Mundus in the next video, so if you are interested definitely stay here and subscribe, <laughs> um, but I will leave the link to the Erasmus Mundus catalog in the description of the video. So if you are interested uh, in having a look of what are the options, then definitely go there and see. Uh, the website might seem quite complicated uh, in the beginning, so if you are not sure, then uh, just wait for the next uh, video and I will guide you through it. Thank you very much uh, for watching. If you liked it, please actually like it and uh, I will see you next time.